my four-year-old have been having some gender exploration happening. Oh my god! Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So sorry. All right, so y'all gotta check this out. One of you guys recommended me to take a look at this Twitter account called Libs of TikTok, and I guess that stands for Liberals of TikTok. Now, listen, if you're a liberal, nothing but love to you. I'm not trying to get political, but that's just the name of the Twitter account. In my opinion, this Twitter account just kind of posts a lot of, like, crazy people that they find on TikTok, and that's all it is to me. I'm just gonna react to them. I'm not trying to spread a political message or anything. I'm just gonna react to some crazies on TikTok like I normally do. Let's do it. My four-year-old had been having some gender exploration happening, which is perfectly fine, and all right, so I'm going to just say no right off the bat. We're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be saying that our four-year-olds are exploring their gender. What we're going to do is just raise our children somewhat normally, which I know is probably a lot to ask from this uh, mother, if you can call her that. But yeah, let's try not to assume that our four-year-olds are experimenting with their gender when in reality, they're probably doing something as benign as eating a chicken nugget. You guys think I'm exaggerating, but people like this actually see a four-year-old boy eating a chicken nugget and think, wow, He's really embracing his masculine side. It's like, no, bro is just eating a chicken nugget. Doing dog food again. Um, that have been doing some gender exploration, which is, you know, we encourage that. If, if you don't feel like you are in the body you're supposed to be in, let us know. Yeah, but I don't know how to tell you this. A four-year-old isn't really going to know that. Bro, if when I was four years old, I told my parents like, yo, I'm a girl, and they listened, and they started like, you know, giving me dresses and stuff, that would do like mental damage to me. You are the parent, you know, like raise your kid. How does it make sense that if your four-year-old son says that he's a girl, you're going to raise him as a girl? How is that okay? But if your four-year-old son said that he was a dog, would you give him dog food? Would you feed him dog food? Absolutely not. That would instantly be child abuse. I'm not necessarily sure I know what the difference is. Uh, Nina has to do. So, Mars had been questioning and exploring, um, and originally had said, you know, I'm a girl. Fine. You know, we went out and we bought dresses and... Bro, just like that, they fold. Like, they don't ask any questions. They don't ask their son. So, hey, why do you feel like you're a girl? They're just like, oh, you're a girl now. Okay, boom, gonna go shopping for dresses. Like, just like that. Don't you feel like it maybe would be smart to ask your son, like, okay, why do you feel like a girl? Or an even better question, ask the literal four-year-old if he can tell you what a girl is. Stop letting your kids do whatever they want whenever they want. Like, you're not a good parent. Simply put, you are a dog shit parent. And listen, like, I was able to infer that from the haircut, but like, bro, you just made it worse for yourself. But on top of all that, like, what is the goal? And like, what do you seek to gain from posting this on TikTok? Like, why do you think anyone wants to hear this? The rest of the TikTok isn't even worth watching, so we're just gonna move to the next one. Normalize! Yo, what? Yo, that is not me, guys. That is bizarre, bro. She got the same glasses and everything. Normalize! Spitting in the drinks of Trump supporters. Are you at a bar or brewery or restaurant in which you did not expect to see a Trump supporter? I find it very funny that these types of people are the ones that are pushing the most for mask wearing and social distancing and public health and safety. But in the same breath, they'll say some stuff like, oh yeah, go spit in the drinks of Trump supporters. Go spit on Trump supporters. And, and honestly, at that point, you know, just kill them. I mean, the irony sort of speaks for itself. And listen, like, I don't have a problem with, you know, people being pro-mask or, you know, pro social distancing. I mean, at this point, I'm probably not going to do it because like, you know, COVID is sort of like dealt with. I feel like, you know, at least where I am, everybody's sort of outside not wearing a mask and like doing their own thing. And if you are wearing a mask, like, you know, that's your prerogative, you know, do your thing. But yeah, I just think it's so dumb of these people to just like say stuff like that. But you still, for some reason, see an ungodly Trump supporter and heaven forbid, they're also wearing Trump merchandise. Well, Take an unfinished drink from a table, spit in it, bring it over to them, and tell them that you bought them one. And then pray to whatever glorious creature gets you out of bed in the morning that they take a sip of it and, and suffer for the rest of the day. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, this shit doesn't even surprise me at this point. Like, you are pathetic. You don't do anything. You go up to random people and spit in their drinks. Like, what? Like, bro, you just snitched on yourself. You're saying you see a random guy with, like, a MAGA hat on, and then you go to spit in his drink? Like, okay? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't ever think I could become as much of a loser as you to the point where I would see somebody in any political attire and then think, like, okay, yeah, uh, this makes me so angry to the point where I would spit in their drink. Like, I don't have any time for that. I don't have time to get angry at somebody who's just like living their life with a hat on so uh for the frog frog self pronouns you would say something like frog went to the store and frog got a new skirt for frog self 
Isn't it so cute? So this one I feel like I'm gonna get crap for including because some people might think that it's obviously satire. And I want to agree with it. I want to just be like, okay, this is satire. This is somebody trolling. Let's just write this off. But there are a lot of people on TikTok who genuinely do use Neo pronouns like I've seen it. So in terms of like benefit of the doubt, I'm going to assume that it's real. And uh, in that case, it's just like, bro, no, we're not going to be using frog pronouns to refer to you. You're not a frog. Uh, that I mean, you, you know. And then for my bug pronouns, you would say something like, Bug's special interest is Monster High. Bug loves talking about it, and it always makes Bug really happy. Oh, oh man. Ah, uh, uh, man. I'm not, like, what's the point of being insightful after clips like that? Like, you know... Do I have to, like, intellectually break down why this is retarded? Because, like, I feel like I do that every video. Can't I just have a minute where I just sort of just, like, I'm like, ah, you know, just let it out because it's just pain, man. It's a lot of pain. I mean, to be fair, like, I did just get back from the gym, so I'm sort of like, you know, like, I'm amped up. I'm in monkey mode. I'm not in the mood to do commentary. I just want to, like, just let it out, you know? <laughs> Yes, I would love to. Let me show y'all them and talk a little bit about them and why I got them. So these are my finger tattoos. I've got him on this side, which is my left hand. I got my heat on this side, my right hand, and I got a little tooth. Bro, imagine the look on the face of the tattoo artist when you say, Oh yeah, uh, I want he on the left hand and him on the right hand. Like, at the end of the day, am I gonna lose sleep over the fact that some random idiot who probably doesn't know their own last name got him and he tattooed on them? No, I can't say I will. But at the same time, is it pathetic? Yeah. Like, listen man, you're trans, okay. Fine, I don't care. But at the end of the day, getting your pronouns tattooed on your hand, and then, you know, all these piercings, and the beanie, and the dyed hair, like, that's not part of being trans. That's just you needing extra attention for some reason. And if you're still not sold, then why was this posted on TikTok? Like, what is the point of posting a TikTok if not for attention, clout, likes, and whatever? Like, I guess sometimes it can be fun and stuff, but this one, I feel like it's pretty clear. I mean, the whole purpose of it is, hey guys, look at me, look at my epic tattoos, guys. We get a lot of questions about our head mate who happens to be a duck. Um, and what I need you guys to understand is that we have interacted with this guy twice. The first time was in our one and only headspace meeting and he was just wobbling around and stepping on everybody's feet. And the second time was when he fronted for like three seconds and he looked at our arm and he thought, you know, 40 year old man's voice, like the voice of a 40 year old man from Boston. He thought, where the fuck are my feathers? And that is all any of us have ever heard from him. Okay, so you hear a duck talking to you in your head? Bro, go to church, okay? Like, just try it. If you don't like it, fine, but like, stop. You know, because this is just like peak godless behavior, so just get somebody. Pray to Allah, pray to whoever you want, but like, this this has to be solved. Anyways, click one of the videos on screen now to be transported to a brand new video of mine. Comment down, monster, if you made it to the end of the video, and I'll try to heart your comment. Big thanks to all my channel members, as always. You guys rock. Follow my social medias and join the Discord server. Links are all down below, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.